Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, just got some lump charcoal going. There he is in my big chimney there. I haven't used a little one. I haven't got a new chimney tonight. Saw so this, they have these on sale. It's pretty big old handy. Looks so good, I'm halfway afraid to use it. But anyway, got me a new bag of my cowboy lump hardwood charcoal. Man, I like that stuff. You know, I'm not an advocate for this company, but they have a dang good product. You know, not saying there's anything wrong with Kingsford. Don't don't get me wrong there. I love Kingsford. I mean, I've got it all. I use it every time I cook, no matter what. But this stuff, it, it burns, stays hot for hours. We were at Oregon Trail Days here last week, and I used one. One bag of this lump chart. Not even one bag. That half a bag I showed you earlier, that was what was left over from Morgan Trail Days. And I had cowboy taters going, I had beans, and I even had the smoker going that's keeping everything warm. All the, the brisket and the pulled pork and everything that was on the smoker, I just threw a bunch of it underneath. and That was still what I had left. <coughs> anyway, uh, it's great stuff. And if you don't use it, I, I recommend it. I mean, it saves a lot of money. It's a little more expensive, you know, 11 12 13 a bag, but it really works. Anyway, I'm going to show you my braised meat here. I just put the vegetables and everything in there. Uh, got potatoes, corn, onions, some garlic. Oh, I used to put tomatoes in there, but... I don't know, it kind of makes it a little too tomatoey for me. So, I love tomatoes. I mean, I go out to my garden right now and just pick tomatoes and eat them right, right there. I also wanted to show you how this pineapple upside down cake is coming along. Anyway, oh, look at that steam roll off there. I wish you could smell this. It smells just as good as it looks. She's getting pretty close to done. I'll be taking this off here shortly and be putting the biscuits on and cooking them i didn't do a very good job making biscuits i only made like eight or ten of them my my i thought if i made a little less i wouldn't have so many biscuits and we could never eat them all so we can handle ten biscuits i just didn't fill up my dutch oven like i like them to and look all pretty so anyway that's kind of what i got going on now uh i guess i can show you kind of how i'm set up I'm, just moved down here. Well, no, I lived here for a while, but just decided I was going to set up at this area of the farm, I guess, kind of around the house. But anyway, well, there's my little trailer. And then over here, I got this is my big trailer that I travel around and, and cook with. Uh, so I always have some place to stay. I'm working on a smoking trailer. It's going to have smokers and uh, Dutch oven tables and a kitchen and everything on it Maybe someday I'll have that done But anyway My Dutch oven tables there just kind of set them up over here just kind of moved it all down here today So it's my little tractor and trailer that's It's gonna get lazy so, Anyway, I just got an awning up here. We're gonna have something permanent down here and then my Cabela's camp kitchen and My old Jeep that's the one I got hit in and messed up my back so uh haven't been having road in a while I'm just still waiting for my back to heal up that's about oh five six months ago so anyway just kind of getting her set up we'll get it figured out we're gonna have a fire pit out here too and dig a deep, just dig a deep hole and have fire so anyway when this is all done i'll let you guys see it We'll talk to you later.